This is Mr. Jeremy with yet another toy review, vintage toy review. This is uh, 1990s uh, Superman. I'm not, I used to have the package, but I threw it away, unfortunately. Uh, I don't, uh, I'm not one of those guys that keeps these things in the package because uh, someday I'm going to die. So... What is the point in keeping them in the package if you can't enjoy them? So I took them out, and I used to have this figure actually a long time ago, but I traded it for a comic book, and I regretted it ever since. And one day we went to Superman Fest, and he was on the shelf, and I think he was about 14 maybe 15 bucks. And I said, well, that's a good price, so I picked him up now. Since he is fresh out of the package, you'll notice there are no paint wear, no marks, nothing much to speak of. Um, this cape is non-removable, and it is rubber. As you can see, is not material, which I rather prefer it to be material, but nonetheless, it keeps you from losing it. His arms flip up. They are not very uh, flexible. They only have one motion, that's up, well, two motions, up and down, I guess. Uh, his neck, the head on this one seems to be really, really loose. I don't know if he's in his legs. Move, of course, up and down as well. The knees do not bend. He does not have any joints for his legs. And he came with this chain which is supposed to work like a net around well let's let's do a little we'll use this 1960s Adam West Batman as an example um sorry about the camera motions let's say superman for some reason never got pissed off at batman let me put this phone down sorry about the phone Ugh. we'll put the there we go. And as you can see, the chain is now connected to Batman, his arms. And I'm not sure that's how that works. I think it's how it works. Uh, we put Superman's arms up. And look at this. You're going to jail, Batman. What did I do, old chum? Nothing. So anyway, yeah, um not quite sure that's how that works because like I said I threw away the packaging maybe you connect it to Superman somehow but anyway I think we got the gist of the whole thing or gist gist yes so I'm assuming it must attach to Superman somehow because he has fist um but anyway I guess I could do, I won't do it today, but we could also do a toy review on the 1960s uh, Adam West Batman. That'll be next. But that's all I really have to say about this figure. He is a great looking figure. I like him a lot. Um, what can I say? I love the S on his chest better than say, let's see got here this new one the batman v superman figure uh looks kind of dull and bland the belt's not even they seems like they could have painted this in more um the s on the chest is too fat i just don't like the look at this figure and even his cape that is very very cheap plastic seems like it could break very easily and i have other superman v batman in fact he's up there uh we'll save that for another review and we will see you guys next time on he bros action figure reviews thank you